Good morning, backpackers. Today we're going to sing a brand new song, and it goes like this. We like Miss Ruth, there's no doubt about it. We like Alex, there's no doubt about it. We like Flynn, there's no doubt about it. We like Leah, there's no doubt about it. We like Kai, there's no doubt about it. We like Katie, there's no doubt about it. We like Morgan, there's no doubt about it. We like Nora Jo, there's no doubt about it. We like Parker, there's no doubt about it. We like PJ, there's no doubt about it. We like Sienna, there's no doubt about it. We like the backpackers, there's no doubt about it. We are all good friends. Well, let's do our prayer. Five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day and keeping our family and good friends safe. And if you would like to add something to the prayer, now's a good time. Hey, it's time to do the days of the week. Today we're going to jump, jump. So get up and let's sing it together. Days of the week, jump, jump. Days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, jump, jump. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, jump, jump. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday, followed by Friday and Saturday. Today we're going to do a finger play and we'll use our hands. We'll need to make a hole with our fingers so you have your hand flat, close it together, leaving a hole. And then this one, we're going to get our pointer and our middle finger up to make a little bunny. So here's my bunny. So here's my here's a bunny, and here is a hole in the ground. When a bunny hears a noise, he perks up his ears and jumps in the hole. So let's do some art. Today, we are going to make a bunny rabbit out of using toilet paper rolls. So you'll need a paper. I used a dark blue. Two toilet paper rolls. You'll need some white paint or whatever color paint you want. And some glue. And at least one cotton ball. And if you don't have cotton, you can get a little piece of tissue and roll it up and make it into a little ball or any kind of paper. And other things that you might want to use is some paint or some markers. And if, you need, if you're using paint, you'll need a paintbrush. So the first thing we're going to do is we keep one paper towel, one toilet paper roll or paper towel roll alone, just the way it is. The next one, we're going to put it down and smash it. And then it makes almost like an oval, like a petal shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in my white paint. And I made a circle. Now when I put it down, I'm putting it upside down so the paint doesn't get on the table. Then I'm going to get my oval and dip that on the top. Looks like I needed a little more paint. Now this bunny is going to lie down. So here's my little bunny. And then I'm going to get some glue when it dries. And then I will add a little tail. And I can use my markers to draw a little eye and a nose and some whiskers and a little mouth. Now, just like in the book we read, A Home for Bunny, there were two bunnies, so I think I'll make another bunny standing up. Press my toilet paper roll, press it again, now I'm going to get my oval shaped one and add the ears.
Get my glue, add it to the side, not too close to the paint. Then I will add the eyes and the nose and a mouth and some whiskers. And if you want, you can either use your markers or your paint to make some grass for them. Just sit on. And there are my bunny rabbits. Okay, it's time to do zoo phonics. Alley alligator is the letter A. A. Bubba bear is the letter B. Katina cat is the letter C. Dee Dee deer is the letter D. Ellie Elephant is the letter E. Francie Fish is the letter F. Gordo Gorilla is the letter G. Honey Horse is the letter H. Any Inchworm, whoops. Any Inchworm is the letter I. Jerry Jellyfish is the letter J. K-O kangaroo is the letter K. Lizzie lizard is the letter L. Mm. Missy mouse is the letter M. Mm. Nigel night owl is the letter N. Mm. Olive octopus is the letter O. Oh. Pee wee penguin is the letter P. Quinny Quail is the letter Q. <laughs> Robbie Rabbit is the letter R. Rrr. Sunny Snake is the letter S. Timmy Tiger is the letter T. Umber Umbrella Bird is the letter U. Uh. Vincent the Vampire Bat is the letter V. Willie Weasel is the letter W. Xavier Fox is the letter X. Yancy Yak is the letter Y. Zeke the Zebra is the letter Z. Today's letter is the letter D. D D Deer is the letter D. And in the classroom, I found a dog. A dog starts with D. Can you find something at your house that begins with the letter D? D. Today's story is Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge, written by Mem Fox, and the illustrator is Julie Vivas. how many people are in chairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. There once was a small boy called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. And what's more, he wasn't very old either. His house was next door to an old people's home, and he knew all the people who lived there. Here's the home for all the older people. He liked Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. He listened to Mrs. Husking, who told him scary stories. He played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. He ran errands for Mrs. Mitchell, who talked with a wooden stick. See her stick? It's a cane. 
He admired Mrs. Dried a Saddle, who had a voice like a giant. But his favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper because she had four names, just like he did. He called her Miss Nancy and told her all his secrets. One day, Wilfred Gordon heard his mother and father talking about Miss, Miss Nancy. Poor old thing, said his mother. Why is she a poor thing? asked Wilfred Gordon. Because she's lost her memory, said his father. It isn't surprising, said his mother, after all. She is 96. What's a memory, asked Wilfred Gordon. He was always asking questions. It's something you remember, said his father. But Wilfred Gordon wanted to know more, so he called on Miss, Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory, he asked. Something warm, my child, something warm. He called on Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. What's a memory, he asked. Something from long ago, my lad, something from long ago. He called on Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy, something that makes you cry. He called on Mrs. Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. He called him Mr. Drysdale, who, uh, who had a voice like a giant. What's a memory, he asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. So Wilfred Gordon went home again to look for memories for Miss Nancy because she had lost her own. He looked for the shoebox of shells he had found long ago last summer and put them gently in a basket. He found a puppet on strings, which always made everyone laugh, and he put that in the basket too. See the puppet. He remembered with sadness the medal which his grandfather had given him, and he placed that gently next to the shells. It's way over here. Next, he found his football, which was as precious as gold. And last of all, on his way to Miss Nancy's, he went into the hen house and took a fresh warm egg from under the hen. The egg is right here in his hand. Then, Wilfred Gordon called on Miss Nancy, and gave him, gave her each thing one by one. What a dear, strange child to bring me all these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. And then she started to remember. She held the warm egg and told Wilfred Gordon about a tiny speckled blue egg she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She put a shell 
to her ear and remembered going to the beach by train long ago and how she had felt in her button-up boots. She touched the metal and talked sadly about the big brother she had loved, who had gone to war and never returned. She smiled at the puppet on a string and remembered the one she had shown to her sister and how she had laughed with a mouth full of porridge. She bounced the football to Wilfred Gordon and remembered the day she had met him and all the secrets they had told. And the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either. And that is the end of Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge. Okay. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Flynn. Goodbye, Leah. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Kai. Goodbye, Katie. Goodbye, Morgan. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Norm.